But it's not nice when you got a hundred and something rabbits that you're oh. trying to uh, adopt out because it's a, it's a lot of uh, a lot of work so, and a lot right? of babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get right to Anita. They're looking for foster families, and uh, they have some as well. Hey, Anita. Hi, so 139 rabbits rescued from, uh, we don't want to say a hoarding situation necessarily, but a situation uh, this past Friday. And so we need fosters. These two first babies, they don't have names just yet, are going to a lovely woman named Abigail. She's picking them up right now. Yes, we're so excited. This is the first two of 139 that we're hoping to get out into foster hero homes. Abigail is such a hero to take these pets in. She said, you know what, I got the text message and just saw how great the need was and wanted to do my part. And she has three of her own and she said how could I not? This is all going with Abigail. What yeah. do they get? Yeah, so we provide all the supplies for people and if you can't foster, we're also asking for Wabitats. If you can donate, that's on our Amazon wish list, but you get the Timothy Hay, you get the litter box. Rabbits are litter box trained, so they are one of the best pets to have, but we provide all of the supplies that you see here and then any medical care they may need. So really, in the long run, it's such a wonderful opportunity to give back. So the foster... Uh, period is very important. Why with these bunnies? Yeah, so as you can imagine, 139 bunnies, it is going to take us a really long time to get them all spayed and neutered. Rabbits can have a hard time under anesthesia, so we're only able to do a few at a time. So uh, getting them into a foster home, they can socialize a bit more. We can learn more about their personalities and then little by little bring them back, put them up for adoption and know even more about them. What does it take to foster a rabbit? Just a heart, really. Aww. A heart and a home. Uh, if you have a little space in your home where you can keep them separate, they are under quarantine for about another week. So mm -hmm. if you do have other rabbits, just keep them separated. But not dogs or cats? I would still keep them okay. separate. Just quarantine yeah. them. Okay. I would always keep them separate. You never know what your pet's kind of prey drive mm -hmm. might be. So maybe don't do that interaction. But yeah, if you just have a separate space and you can still go about, do your normal job. You can do anything like that. Uh, these guys are very self-sufficient. And again, we provide all the supplies. And quickly, I have to give a major shout out yes. to our animal care yes, team. Yes, I was just going to say. Right now, we kind of got to them a little early this morning, so there's a lot of work to do. Bunnies, um, you know, they're a little on the messy side. So be prepared <laughs> to do some cleaning every day. A little cleaning, but again, the litter boxes will certainly help with that. But yeah, huge shout out to all of our teams that are caring for these bunnies. Um, how can they get a hold of you guys if they'd like to donate or if they want to foster and then eventually adopt? Yeah, so our Amazon wish list, Arizona Humane Society, all the supplies are listed there. Or visit azhumane.org slash foster to do the orientation and sign up to foster. These foster team is on site working their little butts yeah. off. They're releasing about 20 bunnies already. But guys, that means we have about 100 more that we'd love to get out to foster. Oh, they, we'll be sure to put all the information up on the website, foxtonphoenix.com. I'm getting the wrap real quick. The lion rabbit where is that baby oh that's my favorite I don't know if you guys saw that's what I look like when I wake up in the morning oh. they're, they're right on cue oh. they're playing that's me what that's me you what getting your rear the little bit? white one with that with the crazy <laughs> hair the little white one with the crazy oh, hair running around Oh, now we miss what are you thinking Anita? my Could spirit you take, animal you think your um your little dog would do well with bunny I, like I think bunnies. Shorty would. I'm not sure I would. I'm a little timid around bunnies because they can be a little quick. So I always feel like if I'm holding one, I you just have to be careful. I don't want to smush it. They can get real quick. So <laughs> yeah, they're shifty. I don't know. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a loves oh. animals or is a little squeamish. Oh, this, look at is that I, I love I love the I love bunnies. They're great. They're beautiful. I just don't know if I would be um, very right good now. at taking Maybe. care of. I'll them. give you yeah. a dollar. Yeah, grab one. There he is. He's hiding. Aww. Anita's hiding. Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> she won't do it. She's acting no, like she doesn't hear so. me. Look at that little guy. You guys, you got a big backyard. Yeah, <laughs> you guys fine. are animal lovers. <laughs> We're fine. Thank you, though. We're fine.